Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole if you're new here. Today I'm going to be doing a Shein haul. Shein, Shein. This stuff has I have kind of accumulated over the last two months. Some bits that I just kind of needed and wanted. Um, some for my daughter, some for myself and yes I just wanted to show you the bits that I picked up. I love watching these. I don't always buy from Shein, um, I feel like it is very hit and miss, along with some of these things that I'm about to show you, some of them were just like, not what I really expected them to be, others really, really surprised me, and yes, I just wanted to show you everything that I picked up. Like I said, this has accumulated over the last two months, um, so I haven't just done one massive order just to show you guys. I've basically just needed some little bits around my house. So I'm just going to try and keep it as quick and snappy as I can. And yeah, let's get into it. First of all, I'm going to start with um, some of the things that I bought for my daughter, Nina. Nina is three. Well, she's got very tight, cool, coily hair. They are curls, but they are more like ringlets and coils. I've been doing my best to like really look after and care for her hair. And lately she's really wanted some... Um, nice hair bubbles and things like that. First up, starting with um, just those tiny little elastic bands. Um, I just tend to do two very simple bubbles in her hair with these tiny little yeah, elastics. So I bought a huge pouch of these. Along with those bubbles, I also bought this little bubble cutter. So as it's elastic, you literally just like hook it into the, the hair and without you know cutting the hair, it just rips the bubbles. So instead of me pulling out those tight elastic bubbles, um, this has been a very handy tool to have. So yes, we just keep that all together. Next up, um, the pouch is not from Sheen, but I bought a bunch of these hair bubbles. So I tend to do two little bubbles with the elastic to keep them in tight, and then I wrap around these bubbles. Um, very cute in a variety of different colours, um, just to you know spruce her hair up. And I tend to match the bubbles with her outfit. So if she's wearing a pink dress. I correlate it with, um, yeah, with the bubbles. So I found these. Um, it's a little tube full of these tiny little flowery hair clips. They come in brown, yellow, green, pink, and purple. And yes, again, very cute, very simple. They just kind of clip into the hair and she has been loving these. Nina has also just been invited to her first ever birthday party so I thought these were very very cute um, little accessories to add to her hair. Uh, they've, they're little like mesh bows with the little stars inside and they're very cute and she has loved putting those in. Next up I bought her a little rainbow scarf. It's a lovely little um, did I say scarf? I mean the cardigan. You know, it's a beautiful little cardigan. You can tell it's not obviously very well made, but it'll serve the purpose. And I just thought this was a very pretty little addition to her um, to her clothes. Like I said, she's very much getting into that girly phase and she saw this when I was looking at some bits and bobs for her and she was like, I want that, I want the strawberries. So she wore this to nursery yesterday uh, and yes, she has loved this. Um, she loves showing off the strawberries. There are multiple ones, different little tutus. This is her first tutu that she's worn and yeah, she loved this. And next up, I bought her this little dress. Now this is a lovely little dress. I bought this for her party. This is size four and it is a little bit too big. So I think I'm gonna have to pick up the next one anyway and save this for next time. It's a beautiful little like rainbow dress. It's got some little flo like flowy sleeves, you know, very pretty. Party's at the end of February. So I think this will be a little bit too cool. She's definitely gonna need to wear a vest under it, but I think I'm gonna have to save this for another time. But yes, it's a very, very pretty dress. Next up, moving on to me, I just picked up a few hair accessories for myself. First up being these lovely little like makeup clips. I've seen these uh, around for ages and I know that they like makeup artists use them. I've actually really been enjoying them, you know, for like clipping my hair out of my face when um, I'm doing my makeup. These were in a pack of six, I think, and my daughter's currently stole some of them. Ooh. So, um, I have got more, I'm just having to hunt them down. Next up, I saw these and I thought these were really chic. They're like hairpin clips. I have no idea how to use them. So I'm gonna have to like YouTube some tutorials. I don't know if my hair is gonna like gonna be thick enough for it. I do have thick hair, but I don't know if they're gonna hold, but I haven't actually had a chance to try these out, but I just thought they looked so lovely. So I need to, um, need to look into that. Next up, I bought this 
beautiful like hair clip bow um, I wore this for the first time yesterday and it is very pretty I've got lots of compliments on it but I don't think it is the comfiest thing I don't know how often I'm actually going to reach for this it is a bit gimmicky another thing I picked up for my handbag like I said I love a bit of like tortoiseshell is this tortoiseshell I don't know it's like basically like an is it acetate or lucite can't remember um but a little comb I thought this would be a very little chic addition to my uh handbag just to give my hair a little comb over next up I bought a tiny little black jewelry box um I really wanted something that could hold my jewelry when I do like go for like weekends away which is very wishful think thinking this one is lovely um it's like the perfect size this bit can take this is like for your rings and you can, this bit you know can is removable and it's got a little like pocket at the back I saw this and I bought it immediately because it was something that I'd be looking enough looking for but when it arrived I didn't realize that it is actually like um black glitter which I, I would have really have preferred that to have been um you know like an all black to make it look a little bit more luxe a bit more chic next up I bought a pack of these um like perfume atomizers and um, so we're basically you like get your perfume bottle and you pump the perfume into it so um yeah I've been enjoying these these came in a pack of three so I'm going to be adding these to my handbag as well I've also bought a little bit of makeup I've never bought makeup from Sheen before this is the love to roam um it's like a creamy brown eyeliner I like brown eyeliner I just think it looks a little bit more um natural and not as harsh as the black and this do you think that I could get this off my eyeballs absolutely not it took me a lot of eye makeup remover to remove this so that's pretty pretty good and yes I was very surprised really like that and the next thing I bought I thought it was going to be a bit gimmicky but I'm actually loving it so this is also by the she glam range and it is um, a feather better liquid eyebrow pencil and basically it's got if you can see it's got like the feather tip to give the illusion of drawing on um you know feathered eyebrows and i've got it on today i'm not going to get too close up because i've rushed my makeup to do this video but i think if you're in like a quick if you really need to do your eyebrows quickly i think this is like a very good option next up i bought um i don't know if this is a bit gimmicky when it arrived i was like what the hell is that um basically it's a little clip to hold false eyelashes and um, i've never been very good at doing false eyelashes so this it basically holds the eyelashes so you can add the glue and it helps you to put them on. I think it is a little bit gimmicky. I don't know how much I'm going to be using this, but I, you know, I think it was like 50p and I thought if it helps me to try and put my eyelashes on, I'll take it. Next up, I bought one of these. I really wanted the white one, but it sent me a random blue one. These are just one of the parcel cutters. It comes with a little slidey thing, just like, you know, retractable knife. And it's just to help open the parcels. And then I've also bought these. So they're little scissors that come in a tube. Yeah, you just take it off and they work like this. This is maybe very random. Again, it was under a pound, but I wanted them for my handbag because cut fit like tags off toys and things like that, off clothing. So I thought, you know, I, I, I need this for my bags. Next up, I've bought a lot of jewelry. I haven't opened the majority of this, but I bought a lot, a lot of jewellery. In one of my previous favourite videos, I've mentioned that I'm trying to curate like a nice wardrobe and some jewellery. My husband bought me some beautiful jewellery from Misoma this year for Christmas. I feel like there are some jewellery pieces that I'm missing from my wardrobe. And of course, I just can't afford to buy the higher end. Like I can't invest in those pieces right now. So I thought I would just get some cheaper options. These are the things that I'm hoping to one day replace with some nice high-end items. First up is a snake chain. These are the gold snake chains. Um, I love these. I think they're just so beautiful. They're very classic, very elegant looking. Um, I did want one of these for Christmas, but my, I, I chose my hoop earrings instead. Um, and I've been looking for a nice piece from a Soma and they are you know, for a good quality necklace, I think it. I, I think you're looking at about £150 for a snake necklace, a snake chain. So I thought for now, I'm just going to go with one of these. I have bought them previously from like H&M and things like that. And they just break, they tarnish. And obviously this one will obviously do the same. But one of my problems is that I tend to leave them on. I, you know, I forget about them and I get into the shower. So I'm going to try and be good and just remember to take them off at the end of the day so that they don't tarnish. Next up, I bought this chain necklace. 
So I thought this was really pretty. Um, I like the detail. I love the paper, is it called like a paper clip chain? And it's also got the little clasp there. Uh, so the actual clasp is at the back, but um, that is supposed to be like the pendant charm there. I thought that was really pretty. This one feels very costume jewelry-ish. So I don't know how often I'm gonna wear that one. I thought that would look, a, I thought that one would feel a bit nicer, but of course for the price you're paying, whereas th this one does feel a bit nicer. Whereas you can tell that was very rattly, it doesn't feel like real metal. And next, I bought these very cute little earrings. I don't tend to buy fake earrings because I do have sensitive ears. I think I know, already know that these are going to hurt me, but um, I bought these for the Christmas period and they didn't arrive until later. But I thought these were very, very pretty, like the little gold rib like bow ribbons for like something festive like the Christmas period. I thought they would be very pretty. You also might see a theme here with this jewellery. I like gold dainty jewellery. Um, but one thing that I did also pick up along with that necklace 